Welcome everybody, Gamer King Tario here, and we've got another PlayStation Vita review for you guys. It's going to be the downloadable game Puddle, which can be found for $7.99 on the PlayStation Network. Physics-based puzzle games have almost become a genre all their own, from casual games like Angry Birds, to indie gold like World of Goo, to even big budget blockbusters, game of the year types like Portal. Puddle is a game of the same genre, where essentially you take a puddle of liquid and you have to guide it through an obstacle course type level all the way to the end where you cannot lose a certain amount of liquid. This is done by rotating the game world back and forth. You have no actual control over the liquid. You only control how you rotate the game world. And this is accomplished on the Vita by the back touch screen. So you would touch the right side of the back touch screen to rotate to the right or the left to rotate to the left. This is a great way to control the puddle and is the best use of the back touch screen that I've seen on the PlayStation Vita so far. Graphically, Puddle looks good. There are some pretty significant frame rate issues here and there, but none of that really affects you know, the actual movement of the game and the puzzle aspect of the game. You, it is definitely noticeable, but the worlds look varied and they also look very detailed. In terms of gameplay, you might feel that taking water through a bunch of different obstacle courses might get a little repetitive for a while. Puddle counteracts this by changing the liquids that you're actually controlling through the obstacle courses, and each liquid has different properties. So that might mean one level you might be playing as fertilizer, which will allow you to grow a plant which might unlock a new path. And the very next level you could be playing as a pesticide, which will allow you to dissolve tree branches to fall into certain places. And then the next level you might be controlling nitroglycerin, where any sudden movement might explode all of your liquid and end the level. This variety in the puddles and the level design is what keeps the game fresh and what always keeps you on your toes going from level to level. Puddle isn't perfect. Because you don't have any direct control over your actual puddle, the game lacks the creativity that you often find in physics-based puzzles. There isn't anything that you're going to do that the developer didn't think of. Everything is kind of going through a singular pattern of solving the direct puzzle. This is counteracted with an increased difficulty and a difficulty curve that seems to be all over the place. You know, I would bang my head against the wall over and over and over again on one certain mission, you know, and then the next five missions I would be able to pass with absolutely no problem and then run into another difficulty. It's definitely not a, you know, learning difficulty curve. It's all over the place. If you are worried about the difficulty, the game provides you with four wines, as they're called, and these are essentially free passes that allow you to go on to the next level without successfully completing the current level that you're on. You only get four of these for the whole game, the 40 plus levels, so you have to use them wisely. But you, if you do use a wine, you can always go back and complete that level, and if you do pass that level, you'll get the wine back. While the game's difficulty can be all over the place, and sometimes certain levels can be absolutely frustrating, I think the difficulty works in the game's favor. There's one particular level where you have to take a glass snow globe through the level, and you have to maneuver it very, very carefully. And if you go too fast or you go too slow and you end up on a hill, you'll end up cracking the snow globe and this will cause your liquid to leak out very very slowly and the more cracked it is the more it's going to leak out and as it's leaking out that that makes you go faster because you're losing liquid and you're going to end up failing the level if you don't get to the end in a certain amount of time so twice i made it right to the end and ran out of liquid and it was so frustrated and when i finally you know got to the end and i had my snow globe was vir virtually full i was like yes and I, you know big fist pump and i was so excited and that was worth you know the 7.99 that i paid for the game right there Overall, I really enjoyed my time with Puddle. I didn't even talk about trying to get gold on every level or leaderboards or anything like that. Hopefully, this is a game that people are going to support and the developer will continue to release downloadable content for it. Anyone who has an interest in physics-based puzzle games or puzzle games in general and has a little bit of patience, I think is going to enjoy their time with Puddle as well.